Hey, so Michael Rand from the Star Tribune. How you doing today? Hey, how are you? Good. Um, I think Cheryl has like last week. Cheryl said, uh -oh. pretty much. No, no, nothing, nothing <laughs> bad. Nothing bad. She it was good. It was good. She basically said everything is different about this year except get still the ball. Uh -huh. Is that is that how you feel? Has she said that to you? And is, is that that piece of it at least feels like uh, something that's a constant in a, in a sea of change? Um, I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean. <laughs> When I came in in 2015, I knew that's what it was. And um, I'm okay with my role. I'm comfortable with my role. Um, like I said before, we have a lot of new faces, but our foundation is the same. And Cheryl do a very, very good job at making sure everybody knows that. <laughs> she does. And I guess as a follow-up to that, what, what has it been like with, with all the new faces here? How have you, what, what's that been like in this camp compared to other ones? Um, I can't really compare. Um, the only difference that I can say is that these girls are younger, they're faster, um, the speed is crazy, the athleticism is crazy. And so um, that would probably be a difference that you guys didn't see in the previous years, uh, more of a running team from us, which is a good thing for me because I like to run. And um, Cheryl will be more pleased as well because she always telling me I need to run more. So. Yeah. Hi, so Katie hey. Davidson from The Athletic. Um, I know your team's identity is still a work in progress as a whole, but I believe you've said that every player's identity, individual identity, has right. already been um, shown right. in the first couple of days of training camp. But just what about your team's culture has allowed those identities to come forth and not and allowed rookies or new faces to kind of be themselves around everyone? Um, it starts from the top up. Um, I think we have a great owner, Glenn, and he does a good job at um, making sure everybody get treated equal. And then it trickles down to Reeve uh, when she brings these players in. Um, she makes sure we all have similar goals. We work hard. Uh, we treat each other well. We have fun. And um, you just do you. She gives you the opportunity to just be yourself and do your job. And so it plays a, a big part when you have Babies coming in, and you looking at a veteran like Simone, old self. Um, it's easy for you to b just be yourself and to play. Um, like I said, Reeve make it known what she wants you to do and how you can go out there and do it to be successful. Um, she's not going to give you a job that you can't complete. And so I think those players, especially being so young, they appreciate it. And they can just go out there and focus on those things that she has to do. So Hobie RT from Fox 9. Hey, best friend. How you doing? No, I'm not sugar baby today? Not in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned, you mentioned the babies that you guys have on this team right now, and I know Simone was alluding to it earlier. Right. How much have they kind of brought the youth out of the two of you? Um, well, I've been youthful. I don't know about Simone. Uh, <laughs> don't tell I said that. But no, um, it is something that they bring out of you. Um, just the energy level is different. Um, being a veteran, being in this league going into my 12th year, um, you, you just see different things and you find ways to, to motivate you and how things motivate you. And I love coming to practice every day and being around these kids. Just the energy that they give. Uh, they work hard. Um, they are themselves, so you got a lot of silliness going around. But they just makes you want to be there and do your job. Uh, hey, Sil. Hey, Eric Beck, uh, WNBA Insider. Uh, so you've been a staple of this team for many years now, mm -hmm. uh, but this is your first as a captain. Uh, what qualities uh, as a leader do you want to kind of imbue on this team uh, going forward this year? Um, just giving maximum effort. Um, I know that AC Ben is loud. Um, just giving maximum effort. I don't really think my role has changed in any way, even though I now have a captain title. Um, I still do the same thing that I've been doing, and that's leading by example, make sure I'm being good to my teammates, and going out there and playing the best way that I know how. And, um, and on my given nights, I mean on my off nights, just being a sponge and listening of what I can do better or how can I get over the hump. Uh, and just quickly, I couldn't help but notice in the first preseason game you uh, won the tip on purpose. Is that uh, something, something new? Something new. We, we added, I know I was confused too. <laughs> When Reeve was like, we want the tip ball, I said, wait, we want it? She was like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So I, I think she's just changing it up a little bit. 
So I'm sneaking back here to my spot so I don't screw up what I'm doing. Uh, Jeff Brioche with Channel 5, uh, and I want to be your older brother, not your dad, just based on the fact that I'm older than Simone um, okay. by a lot. Uh, how much will you miss Rebecca if mm -hmm. she's not able to come back? And right. how much will the team miss her uh, on what she's able to do in the past? Man, um, the things be be done for this organization. Um, we're going to miss a lot. Um, and hopefully she can recover and bounce back. But if not, like, um, you just got to find other ways to do it. Um, nobody's going to do it the way Brunson did it. But we got to do it collectively as a group now. So trying to find those little areas to to pick up what we left off dealing with her, um, I think is, is going to be kind of challenging. Hey, so Dave, hey. your time with the Pioneer Press. Um, you mentioned you still feel youthful. Uh-huh. Um, but what, what does the youth bring to this team besides just their youthful energy like what have you seen so far in practices that gives you the confidence that they can perform at a high level um these young ladies are talented um they themselves and um, they know how to play they're smart um very feisty when need to be <laughs> and so all those things that they bring i think is what help us and what makes me feel youthful